Psychedelics are basic various different plant medicines that are help us for the human race to navigate through the dimensions that we have that are there. That's all they are. And there are so many different ones. Yes. Uh, I'm always interested, as much as I'm open to knowing about which ones they use in Japan, yes. in Argentina, <coughs> or in Oregon, or Costa Rica, or, 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 or Germany, or wherever, I'm very much more interested in with which ones have been used by my ancestors. Yeah. Because in my genetic memory, not just in my genetic memory, in my own blood bank, so yes. to speak, yeah. within me, mm -hmm. uh, I ought to, not because I'm, 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 I'm unable, not because I'm unwilling yeah. to venture out and see what's happening in other places or mm -hmm. in different kinds of futures. Yes. I can read about it, mm -hmm. so I can listen to uh, much, research, much research has been done. Yeah. Yeah. But I am very interested in um, Isidele's Nogulao, Nama Kam, a way to assage and to So the herbs that have been used by the people in my immediate genetic surroundings, whether right. it's about or in my blood, mm -hmm. whether it's a course in my blood, you're not gravitating whether away from my very close to the moon in my mm -hmm. bloodline, whether I'm in my bloodline, right. whether it is a, 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 whoever or the nilotics in my bloodline. Right. So, Jay, I am interested in that. So, my knowledge, I grew up in a Christian family, a born again Christian family. Mm -hmm. So, there was not a lot of use of other shamans or mediums, spirit mediums. We never went to Izango. That's correct. Even myself, uh, I went with Izango. As a healer. I'm a healer. <laughs> I'm a healer uh, uh, of, of, of a special kind. That's right. I consider myself a, a, a teaching healer. In That's, correct. Healer. That's correct. I'm a counselor. Also, yes, I use the I use them for myself. For and yourself, for yourself. Yes, yes, but not to I plan to like this. Yeah. I don't. You may be consult me. So come back when you are healers. You will give me. I will. You give me knowledge, man. I will give you knowledge of where to get it. That's right. I will connect you. But the point I'm raising is this: being raised in a Christian family, I was not exposed to a a Israelism, in a mysticism. I was yes, I was exposed to it. My mother would, or father would consult if we have some ailments, and maybe there. I don't know. Maybe could not afford the doctor yeah. at the time or what it was. But we could not be able to see the toilet, 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 the I enter the world of psychedelics once I start being interested in cannabis. That's correct. So cannabis is also one of those they call ethnogens or it is. they call it an hallucinogenic or right. psycho whatever they call it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, 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 so once I become interested uh, as a Rasta man, mm -hmm. interested in uh, the herb, I was interested in it more than just as a sacrament That's which right. is used in a religious the, uh, the yeah, what's the science? Science? Mm -hmm. I want to know the medicinal, right. I want to know the, the science collective, right. I want to know the science, but I also want to know uh, the history of it amongst my people. Yes. So if I know the history of it and who used it and what is the effect on mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So while learning about cannabis, mm -hmm. cannabis, I like it when they call it a gateway drug. That's but for me it was never a gateway to drugs. Yeah. Because I never took it. I've never, never taken other chemicals. That's right. Uh, but what I what I discovered is that cannabis opened me up to understanding other psychoactive drugs that, that are, are also around, around that are available. So I know what the effect of different different um, and different of, are, yeah. of, 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 of of cannabis or different types of cannabis yes, yes. is to my mind. body. Yeah. And I also know what it does to somebody else who may have a different kind of cognition in their brain or a different bloodline or right. just differently they you react differently mm. right and so so also because of the political angle we also know that I, I had to do a comparison of both cannabis and and alcohol mm -hmm. and then as a person who's interested in social not just engineering but yes. in social well-being 
I looked at the effect of alcohol versus on society versus the effect of cannabis. That's right. And then you look at the public relations. Mm. Uh, How it's perceived by the This one gets a bad rap, the drink mm. gets a bad rap, but the alcohol yeah, gets a damage. damage. But the damage is not <laughs> bad. That's right. So then that opens you up. It's a, for me, it was a gateway to what the, the, the I want to know more about this And the others, and the others. No, I'm saying it opens me up to other levels. Not for me to experiment with them, but for me to understand them. Right. I am open to experimenting with other psychoactive drugs mm. because I have seen what cannabis can do both for the health mm -hmm. benefit and for also and for the society. Yeah, yeah. And I, I know, Uzi, um, I'm also, <laughs> I'm not going to be shy about it because I'm also a cannabis uh, consumer. I actually yes. do. Yes. Uh, and I do that for my own personal. They expect us to, to, not, to, 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 to not be clean. There's no way. Way. There's There's no way. way. They don't understand the man who, uh, who yeah. engages in as such. But I've also dabbled in. Um, Mushrooms, especially yes. uh, like psilocybin mushrooms. I haven't gone as far as uh, trying the other stuff that is available out there, but um, for me, my mushrooms were like, okay, now I need to just remove my foot off the table because I, what was revealed was sure. some, some, sometimes you, you, you really appreciate what is unknown, but stuff that you cannot explain in language is very, you know, it's very questionable if you, you want to dabble in that. So, my mushrooms have. Uh, been used in history, and I think that should also give us some kind of uh, comfort in and uh, in knowing that even in history, it is something that has always come through. Like in the Tassili caves, um, you know, what's up on uh, in Algeria, we, we see these shamans that are dancing, they are drawn in the uh, petroglyphs um, with the mushrooms sprouting from their bodies, and you can see all of these uh, geometric shapes that are sometimes stuff that comes out uh, when uh, you engage these sacraments. But there's always something that is very spiritual that usually comes out of the experience itself. The fact that you go through ego uh, dissolution or ego death, where you lose the cultural um, structures and the stuff that you've been told. The normative. Exactly, it just melts away and you, you sort of see beyond the matter, you see the actual vibration of everything that you call stable. <clears throat> like, what is happening with the uh, uh, Mushrooms, not just mushrooms, but psychedelics. What is it that uh, causes them? Because even in uh, history, it, it sort of brought about Amat cultures where they were uh, cattle worship. Because you remember with the mushrooms, they grow out of cow dung. Yes. Um, what causes, or you, perhaps because you're not a scientist, but you might have some knowledge, but what causes uh, India and Amat uh, Ama psychedelics to bring about these uh, holistic, spiritual feelings and even the visual, uh, the, the visuals that uh, you see. What is that? <coughs> what, what, what is happening there is the plant teacher reconnecting us, reminding us yeah. of our interconnectedness with nature. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, I know when we were, we were talking about Bantu and Bantu and my own immediate bloodlines and all that, we are speaking as if we are separating ourselves very, we are different, we are these special people that right. come from the heavens and mm. all these things. And that's beautiful. But all of that knowledge exists also elsewhere. It is true, it's there. It's true, it's there, but it also exists elsewhere. Mm. So uh, we are special, we are unique, we are dynamic. That's right. Yet at the same time, we are connected to the end. Mm -hmm. We are the end. Yeah. And we are God. Mm -hmm. And we are the devil that exists. That's right. Some of the scenes that you may see when you are in taking these uh, substances yeah. may be the inner part of the, the, the inner nature of existence. That's right. Both our aggressive existence, <coughs> both our traumatic existence, both our animalistic existence, and our fears, right. and our nightmares, and all. so with psychedelic drugs, mm -hmm. they open you up. They they open the doors That's right. of of inhibition. You are you become uninhibited. You don't have a stopper yeah. to what is coming through your yeah. mind. Yeah, which is why it's important to use now. this with guides. That's right. Guides are very important. Umuntu Ozobu, a person that will guide you mm -hmm. uh, 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 and understand. You know, they, they say that psychedelics work 
differently depending on the environment that you are in. Certain sets. Yeah, if you are in an environment that is hostile, mm -hmm. there is some hostility and some discomfort. Yeah. In an environment that is comfortable, that there is a, a well guided, and the the yeah, mind is also themselves not ego free mm -hmm. but controlled. Yeah. Understanding, knowing, mm -hmm. they know that you might react badly or you might mm. feel good, you may even die yeah. or you may even come out more alive than you came yeah. in. Right. So, the, for me, mm. the, the psychoactive drugs mm. or psychoactive substances, or whether it's plants, whether it's DMT or okay. mescaline coming from the cactus, yeah. Yeah. which is we call itlaba, where there's different kinds of itlaba, there's different kinds of itlaba. And it's, it's a strain of itlaba. It's a strain of itlaba, the cactus, right? So, it, all these different uh, uh, things, as I said already, there are dream medicines that we use here in Southern Africa. That's right. Like flowers, yes. You know, and these are some of them are made from ground flowers. Mm -hmm. Some are made from uh, this one and the uh, dandelion. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I'm just looking for the Zulu word for it. Yeah, it's dandelion. But they are made from mullein. They are made from various different things that can be found sometimes even easily outside. That's right. But it shows us that there's so much knowledge mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. It's just up to us to cultivate, to cultivate it right. and to hone it and to use it for our well-being. Yeah. So psychoactive plants are there for our well-being. That's why people are using them for trauma counseling. Mm -hmm. They're using it for as an anti-drug, you know, to, anxiety. To, to exercise yourself of addiction yeah. and, and of anxiety and fears. <clears throat> yeah. So that's all they are. They are helpers. They are here right. to teach us. There's definitely this thing happening in um, the world the way they've uh, dubbed it uh, psychedelic renaissance because they come from uh, history, they were banned and uh, obviously this was uh, something that came from the Americas and of course if it was implemented in the Americas back then, it then spilled over to third world countries as uh, this one. So these things are still illegal, we're not promoting them, but uh, we're just noting the fact that they are there and of well, course people they're, they're, they're not all illegal. No, of course. But if okay, and ketamine is... It's legal. It's legal in Southern Africa. It is. Uh, and elsewhere. But the, you see, the issue now with authorities yeah. is that they want to compartmentalize everything yeah. and then control it. Mm. Right? It's substance control. That's right. They are trying to control instances of abuse mm. so that children don't, don't have access. access. Yeah. People who are vulnerable to other psychotic uh, don't find them, themselves, don't find them, themselves yeah. easily finding them. So, the whole issue of uh, regulation mm -hmm. and laws and all that, it's to, it's to get because we are a civilization, yeah. we live in civil society. Right. So and there are these rules and laws. These rules and laws are important, they are part of our culture of as human beings. Yeah. Yeah. But also part of our culture is experimentation. Exactly. Also part of our culture is exploration. Expanding your consciousness. Expanding consciousness. Mm -hmm. So in controlled environments, That's right. we should be able, especially in Tinawad, to return to a state whereby uh, even our healers mm -hmm. are educated not just about the imitate, the normal. They will fight for my ass, they will fight for my ass. Here. They should expand to Hindu, even to Mushu Tata, this is as well. Yeah, not yeah, just this is what Babu Baba Mother Spune will speak about. With, if you are young, mm -hmm. if you are a healer, you can't just be a person who just stays at your own village. No, it doesn't come right. to you. Yeah. You must go to places where you don't even know the language there. And let me learn the cultures of that side. Yeah. Learn how to come back and heal your people. Yeah. And teach your people. That's right. And leave it, leave it to posterity. That's uh, something that they also said much of uh, the Buddha Uti. Um, when he went and uh, learned what he learned under the tree, to complete his journey, it would have never been completed had he stayed there. He had to come back and teach the people. Mm. Hence, as Africans, it's also known. It's the same thing that uh, we're doing right here. Because yeah. you have. Exactly. As 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 Ubab Masego, I had to see you. I had to have this conversation with you yes. because it has always been true. We see, as Africans, it is knowledge that is uh, mostly priced. Yes. Far more than possessions. Yes. It's just that the world has become more than magic. It yeah. has changed, and obviously people have lost that uh, gold. Godra, um, just to sum it up, as uh, we draw to an end, how do you feel about the current culture, religion being noted? and where we are moving because it, uh, noting from um, what has been happening it's, it looks like people are a bit uh, losing focus losing trust losing uh, belief even of uh, what they have been taught 
but because of the fact that they can see so much wrong that is happening around them and they feel the injustice, they feel the, the unfairness, they feel like Unihi Umudu Ashot Itena Tola Wanda Mukola Bayana because I'm not gonna be the one. So what happens to Mudu Yam? Is there anything that you would like to say about Umudu Omyama and where he is headed? Thank you, thank you. And for me, like is always in is gold. That's right. Uh, it's more than gold, in fact. Mm-hmm. As the, one of the scriptures says, uh, wisdom is greater than silver and gold. There we go. Right. So uh, I always emphasize this, especially when I quote scripture. Yeah. I always like to remind our people that what I'm quoting in scripture, in my mind and in my heart and in my knowledge, mm-hmm. I know that I'm quoting something older than the written. That's correct. What is written is a tradition that it's that way before. Mm. Uh, so like Shota Kona is knowledge, right? Mm. But what kind of knowledge? The quality of the knowledge that we must have is the kind of knowledge that is useful mm. for the making of a peaceful, healthy, joyous civilization. That's correct. You know, people say towels are a lot, mm-hmm. but do they, are they towels a lot? Mm-hmm. A lot of people are struggling and suffering through the towels. That's right. Some say, no, it's an affirmation. Who the I use on towels? But it's, a, it's, a vibrating, it's vibrating. vibrating. So the knowledge that is actually really important is knowledge of self. Mm-hmm. But not just knowledge of self-ishness, the knowledge of what he has as yeah. This is my father, this is my parents, this is my pride. I pride myself on these things which are, which make me me. Yeah. But it's a knowledge that goes beyond that. Knowledge of self-realization. That's right. A knowledge of self-determination it requires us to do these kind of conversations more mm-hmm. and to learn more about the plants That's right. that are that are here to help us to break down the walls of oppression and of fear right. and of a doctrine because you see we have to respect some of the traditions that come that are passed down to us whether they come from foreign or they come from yeah. Israel but first it's knowledge more. it's knowledge but what's more important more than even just the application and the execution is um, where is it leading to ultimately yeah right we are don't own right who made a yeah if we are from a benevolent and beautiful source, that's right. We should return to that beautiful, benevolent source mm-hmm. when we give up the flesh. That's right, right. So a lot of religions and a lot of other ways of life, they try to not I won't say trick, but the kind of rhetoric they use is that you're gonna have a better life on the other side. side. On the other side. Yeah. But now this better life, you have to prepare for it here, right? So everyone is talking about that. My preparation is better. Mm. You prepare better. My method is better. Yeah, you will be better here if you do it this way. Right. You'll be better. You're gaining numbers. Yeah. So now we have to refine our knowledge daily. We don't have to have to refine only our knowledge daily. That's right. We have to refine our spirit. That's right. We have to put ourselves through the fire. In mm. fact, besides besides putting ourselves through the fire. We are going through the fire. That's correct. The fire is the fire of experience in the flesh. Mm. The ancient mystics in the Hindu, uh, or, 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 or the Hare Krishna and many others. They With those mystic dances. The, yeah. The, 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 we, giving we, all the about the mystic dances, they are beautiful. That's right. What I'm finding is that devotion to the source mm-hmm. is important. It does not have to be religion. I know it's a thin line between devotion and religion. That's right. But you have to devote yourself to a source that is transcendental. That's correct. Drugs can help you, mm-hmm. but also beyond drugs, mm-hmm. bread, bread, the very bread mm-hmm. can help you. Yeah. But me, me that means myself. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 it's myself. I'm more interested in social harmony, mm-hmm. the structural, the systemic. Okay. okay. I can have that knowledge of self determination and all this. It doesn't help if you're only. And there can be 10, 10 of us. No, there can be 15 of us. Right. 20, 30, 40, 100 of us. When, what kind of environment are we living in? Who governs us? 
what kind of system are they going yeah. under? Are we living in how they in a utopia? Yeah. 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 How do we distribute the knowledge of self and make it a kind of freedom that is accessible by everyone? That's what I'm interested in. Yeah. I'm interested in the well-being of everyone. That's correct. And that well-being can only come through justice. Mm -hmm. Come through my art. It goes back to where I started. It goes through my art. Because right. without my art, you can have the best drugs, mm -hmm. but you can have the best money, all the methods and the world. best knowledge yeah. in your head, and you have a big library. But if you do not have my art, yeah. it's the niso. It's off rails. You have too much judge. Yeah, you know. <laughs> So that's what that's what we need. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. Wow. As uh, you've uh, heard for yourself, that is uh, the wealth of knowledge that uh, we are really, really appreciating today. The fact that uh, Mama Sengwa has given us a chance to have us chat with him. He's uh, on social media. You will be able to find him on uh, all social media pages. I think on Facebook, Instagram, even on Twitter. But Mama Mama Sengwa will be able to give us the info. Well, he's uh, got uh, what you had the last time that uh, red and green pill. But of course, it's got pebbles <laughs> this time. <laughs> this is the red and green pill. Exactly. So, um, if uh, there's anything that you'd like to know about Mama Masego, even on the comments, uh, you can just check this podcast and uh, ask any questions. He will be able to respond. And you can also follow him on uh, his social media uh, pages he's uh, going to be able to respond and ensure that if you request him as a friend he's also going to accept as uh, quite a, a good man so he can be natural healing that's where you must go thank you so much joining us again and yeah, thank you so much again for enjoying this episode with us it's uh, quite an honor that yeah, you've uh, stayed with us for this long and uh, my wife thank you so much thank you so much